Hello and welcome to the Nazarene Cipher. This is Theophilus Cleft and today we'll be discussing the panel of John or Yohanan ben Zebedee, Yohanan son of Zebedee. This piece is found on the upper section of the Nazarene Cipher within the ring of disciples. The first thing that jumps out at us when we look at the panel are the butterfly wings that we see on John's back. This represents the incredible transformation of both his personality and disposition after his encounter with Christ, after the resurrection, and after receiving the Holy Spirit at Pentecost. Before this time, he and his brother James, Yaakov, were known as the Sons of Thunder. The uh, dark storm cloud above his head alert us to that. They were extremely hot-headed, occasionally self-serving and brash, but when we encounter the same man in the Book of Acts and in his own later writings, he is seen as a man of great compassion, insight, and grace. There are many clues in this panel telling us that the Apostle was present during some extremely important events of Christ's ministry. The small circular icon that you see floating just above the butterfly wing, tells us that he witnessed Yeshua's transfiguration upon the mountain. The golden figure sitting up just below that shows us that he was present during the raising of the dead girl. Then below that, the leaf with three drops of blood, that he was there during Yeshua's three prayers at Gethsemane. And if you look at the very bottom left-hand corner, the cross with the eye, tell us that he was present at the crucifixion. Looking at the upper left section, you'll notice a small icon just next to John's head. And this represents that he was one of Christ's inner circle of friends, along with James and Simon Peter. The question marks that you see around the white throne are a reference to his question of which of the disciples would sit and rule with Christ. That's in uh, Mark 10:37, And the flaming question mark at the upper extreme left reminds us of his declaration to bring down fire upon the Samaritans, and that's in Luke 9. Now looking at the frame, the eagle, or the golden eagle, is the traditional symbol of John's Gospel, as John places a great deal of emphasis upon Christ's divinity. The seven white dots you see crowning the bird remind us of the seven great I Ams that are found in the Gospel, and also the seven miracles that occur. The images that you see running down the right-hand side refer to the seven pl plagues that are unleashed upon the earth in his book of the Apocalypse of Christ. The seven seals, the seven trumpets, seven bowls, and there on the bottom we see John standing on the island of Patmos where he wrote the book. And finally the images running down the left hand side of the frame refer to his epistle, 1st John, 2nd John, and 3rd John. Well that's it for today. If you'd like to dig a little bit deeper into the panel of John, or any other panel found within the cipher, please go to www.thenazarenecipher.com. Until next time, thank you.